At noon, dozens of people losing almost everything after a fire erupts at an apartment building. Huge flames shot into the sky as firefighters tried to put it out. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Cutler Bay with the latest. Peter. Well, Carly, fortunately, no one was injured, but this fire has caused hardship for some 60 people uh, some two weeks before Christmas. Apparently left homeless after a blaze that appears to have started in the roof of this building where electrical work and repair was being done. We spoke with witnesses. Flames engulfed this building at the club apartments. It was upgraded to a second alarm fire here in Southwest 212th Street at 86th Avenue, meaning Miami Dade Fire Rescue had to bring in more units. It was a challenging task. A ladder truck was brought in to put out the blaze from above as firefighters focused on the roof. Chopper 4 shows the aftermath of this inferno. 24 units were destroyed or severely damaged. Witnesses were stunned by what they saw. It's a really, really, really dangerous, dangerous situation. Dangerous situation, a big, big high risk, really, because they, they, the fire was a big fire. It started small, but going really, really high. And it was up on the roof. You feel bad for the people here. Absolutely. I feel really, really sad because we don't have to, to move to another place. What did you see? A lot of fire on the roof. From what I understand, it was the borders, and uh, roofers were working on that particular roof, but uh, uh, it wasn't too bad. Well, it was bad, a lot of fire, but uh, the structure was intact, and it basically hid the wood frame all around the uh, but it was big. It prompted a huge response from Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, including a number of pumpers and ladder trucks with fire rescue ambulances on standby. Companies had a tough time. Both truck companies had a tough time getting water on the fire. We had two tower ladders operating. It was a 90-minute fight. The stubborn blaze was brought under control just after 9 at night. Fire detection system, the, the smoke alarms, notified all the people and all the residents were out on our arrival. Now, the Red Cross is trying to help those left homeless. We're told that many people, the victims, are with family members and friends. Meanwhile, we reached out to the company that was involved with roof repair at this building. A spokeswoman said they would have no comment because of the investigation. We're live at Cutler Bay, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Carly.